Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the East Shaved Effect Steady Bar for today's uh, second video. So we're looking at the weather for the next 42 days slash six weeks with a focus on the UK and Ireland uh, for this one. This is the uh, second EC extended look out of the week and I should get on with that for you in a moment. So say that the wider European outlook with the East Shaved Effect Steady Model is always on a Tuesday. On a Friday or Saturday, we focus on uh, the UK and Ireland, and as I say, I'm going to get on, on with that in a second. Just say that the first video today was our 6M upload, and uh, we've got weekend forecasts and also 10 to 14 there coming up for you later on today as well. So please like, share, subscribe on videos, and thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Thank you so much to ECMDF.INT as well for supplying us uh, with the charts. Right, so we begin the uh, week one mean cell for pressure anomaly from the 23rd to the 30th of May. So um, we see that low pressure next week is going to be dominated to ever actually across much of the North Atlantic and into Northern Europe as well. We're going to be bringing in a westerly wind. There is some high pressure down towards Spain and Portugal, but that looks like it's weakening a little bit actually. So um, yeah, low pressure brings in a westerly flow and it could bring some showery rain to some parts of the country as well. Uh, 500 millibar height only from the Arctic North Pole view down. Looks like that with below average heights, low pressure in the North Atlantic and into Northern Europe as well. Above average heights, high pressure across more southern, southwestern parts of Europe. And again, we bring bring in the wind from uh, a westerly uh, direction. With rain especially so, uh, likely to be in more northern areas, I would have thought. Temperature normally are lowering actually next week, so not as warm as it has been through most of this uh, May so far. About average river temperature, and not only most areas, still a little bit above average for the southeast of England, a little bit below average perhaps for Western Scotland and also for Ireland. Um, precipitation anomalies are looking like this, so wetter than average to the north, above average rainfall there. A little bit drier than average down in southwest elsewhere, near normal rainfall. I think it will be a more unsettled week coming up for the last week of uh, May there. Uh, week 2 is going to be the 30th of May to 6th of June. High pressure then is back in business with, an, uh, with a ridge building across uh, many western parts of Europe. This is the um, over the bank holiday weekend, uh, of course. Uh, so, so um, you know, it's the four-day uh, bank holiday. And it looks like high pressure will be dominated weather if uh, this is right. Incredibly dry weather to much of western Europe. The 500 millibar height anomaly. Looks like that and shows an area of above average heights building across the western part of Europe, but average heights to the north and to the northeast. So, um, of Europe. So, um, I mean, it's not, probably not going to be heat wave because we're probably going to be bringing wind from like a northwesterly direction. But even so, high pressure should be settling things down there. Temperatures are actually lifting up under that area of above average heights, especially so for more southern areas. So, it's a rather warmer week as well as we begin June. And it goes dry as well as you expect under an area of high pressure, quite as dry weather for the UK and for Ireland, for the most parts of uh, Western Europe, actually. So June and meteorological summer beginning on uh, a reasonably dry and warm note there. Week 3 will be the 6th to 13th of June. Above average heights continue in this week with the, uh, or I should say high pressure, since it means cell pressure normally. Um, high pressure continues in this week with uh, plenty of uh, anticyclonic influences across many northern and western parts of Europe. The 500 millibar height anomaly continues to show the above average heights across western parts of Europe. So quite a bit of dry weather still expected, I would have thought. Temperature anomalies are uh, above average still, particularly for Ireland uh, and England and Wales. A little bit cooler further north, perhaps, but even so, it's relatively mild. So you notice it continues to be really cold, though, or below average anyway, of temperature in the far north and northeast of uh, Europe. That's been ongoing for months now. Uh, and the precipitation anomaly uh, looks like that. And again, it's generally drier than normal across most parts of the country in most parts of Western Europe as well, actually. So, a couple of weeks of high pressure dominated uh, conditions there. Right, week four will be the 13th to the 20th of June, because the further out we're going, the more unreliable this is all getting and the weaker the signal will get. But even so, week four still sort of indicating some higher pressure across the UK and Ireland. Lower pressure looks like it's up here in the far north of the Atlantic, Norwegian Sea, and into Scandinavia as well. 
Uh, so yeah, high pressure remains well and truly in control. 500 millibar height tsunami shows the above average heights, perhaps inching just a little bit more towards our west, it is trough below average heights, perhaps backing a little bit in towards, uh, in towards the west part of Europe, but not yet arriving there. Essentially still the same idea, I think, really, with that high pressure quite dominant close to us. The temperature tsunami is lowering, so the cooler than average temperatures are getting ever closer to us. Um, much of France, Spain and Portugal warmer than average, but for you here on Ireland, our temperature anomaly is going back closer to average, really. Um, Precipitation-wise, we still look dry there across most parts of Western Europe, so it remains a dry scene, you know, right way into the middle part of June. Right, week five will be the 20th of June to 27th. What happens in this week? The high pressure sort of pulls out into the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Well, it's not much of a signal, but with high pressure pulling out west, you'll probably expect uh, the jet stream to move southwards and maybe low pressure to come southwards with it. So I'll just put in uh, a bit of a question mark there. Let's have a look at 500 millibar heights anomaly. Again, just a weakening signal, really. The above average heights pulling into the Atlantic, weakening as they do so. Tropical average heights over Scandinavia is also weakening, though. So um, I reckon probably cooler and more showery in that week, and that's probably about as much as we can say. Temperature anomaly is actually still a bit above average in the south of what is near normal. And the precipitation anomaly, uh, again, just weakening the signal off, really no sign of it going particularly wet, but also not as dry as it has been. And then week five, uh, week six, I should say, will be the 27th of June uh, to the 4th of July. So we actually get into July with this uh, update. Let's have a look at that one then. And again, not much of a signal to be working with there, so I just put in uh, a couple of question marks once more, as it does look as though weeks five and six are losing uh, the signal quite a bit. The 500 millibar height anomaly perhaps hints uh, slightly at some higher pressure beginning to appear around Greenland. So a little bit of northern blocking may be hinted at, uh, which is not usually a very good sign. Uh, in summer, because that would normally send a jet stream southwards and uh, bring low pressure with it. So, um, you know, it's a very weak signal, though, so it's not really worth worrying about six weeks away. Temperature anomaly is about average to slightly above average, and the precipitation anomaly. Uh, again, no real signal there. Maybe hints that it might be starting to go a little bit wetter across these western parts of Europe. But again, it's such a weak signal, but I don't think we can draw too many um, conclusions about that. So, uh, there we go. It definitely looks like high pressure will be dominating up to the middle part of June, anyway, possibly even into the second half of the month. Beyond that, we might see a bit of a hint of a change here, end of June, late June, and into uh, into the beginning of July. There might be a little bit of an indication for things to get more unsettled then. But it is a very, very, very weak signal. It's weak sliding six. It's a long way out. So, I won't worry about that this stage. It definitely looks like much of June is going to continue, as May has been, uh, and most of spring has been actually, uh, to be dominated by high pressure and uh, bring further warm and dry conditions a lot of the time. Right, OK, we'll be back later on with the weekend broadcast, and uh, we'll have a 10 to 14 day for you as well, so keep checking back for more. But for uh, this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.